नमस्ते बेटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बेटिया वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल मैं सिर्फ जेवीएन डॉक्टर रवि जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन इन फैकल्टी ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ साइंस एट ज्योति विद्यापीठ इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ द न्यूरोलॉजिकल डिसऑर्डर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टर्मिनल न्यूरोलॉजी दैट इज कॉमनली नोन एज टिक डोलोरेक्स दिस इज अ वेरी पेनफुल न्यूरो न्यूरोलॉजिकल कंडीशन विद व्हिच पेशेंट आर कमिंग टू यू and require great help because the pain is so severe that it affects their life considerably a lot of people are suffering from trigeminal neuralgia require a lot of help from you so it is very important for you to understand first the clinical features of trigeminal neuralgia and what are the features of trigeminal neuralgia what are the various uh, clinical features what is the etiopathogenesis the pathology that is going behind the development of trigeminal neuralgia which nerve is involved uh, The course of that nerve. What are the different branches of that nerve that are affecting different parts of your face? Uh, you have to understand the clinical features of the trigeminal neuralgia, uh, the various investigative uh, procedures that could be used for diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia, and lastly the important part. So uh, the treatment part. So uh, let's, uh, let's continue with trigeminal neuralgia now. Take a look and try to understand each and every aspect of this disease. so that we can identify and treat the patient successfully trigeminal neuralgia it is a chronic pain condition this is a very chronic pain condition old condition uh, patient whenever they are coming to you they will always complain that uh, they are suffering from this pain is uh, very long term that affects the trigeminal nerve trigeminal is a fifth fifth cranial nerve uh, which may carry the sensation from the face to the brain uh, the neck nerve carries the sensation from the face to the brain The trigeminal fifth cranial nerve supplies the sensation to the skin of the face and into the half of the head. So, from the face, the sensations are transmitted to the brain. It divides into three divisions: the trigeminal nerves before entering the face, the uh, skull. Uh, it branches it divides into three branches, uh, depending upon the site uh, where it is supplied. The name has been given accordingly. Uh, the three divisions are ophthalmic divisions. The area supplying the eyes, the maxillary, the maxillary, the maxillary bone, and the mandibular, the mandibular bone. Uh, so three branches are there of trigeminal nerve, depending upon the site they supply. Ophthalmic, uh, maxillary, and mandibular. This we know automatically. I believe this. It is predominantly a sensory and motor innervation, exclusively carried in mandibular. So the nerve, the trigeminal nerve, is basically a sensory nerve, typically a sensory nerve, but the motor nerve is innervated with the mandibular. Right, this can be done. Right. Now, trigeminal neuralgia. You can see the three three branches. The, the distribution. This is trigeminal nerve entering the uh, uh, the nerve skull. Uh, this is the ophthalmic branch that is supplying this this portion, the, the maxillary, the maxilla, and, and the mandibular branch. So, this this portion is supplied by the ophthalmic nerve. This by the mandibular, the maxillary, and this by the mandibular. So, the, the pain features. The features, the clinical features of this uh, of this disease, uh, will be dependent upon the type of injury or type of lesion, but the place where uh, there is, uh, is the lesion of the nerve, the brain, the other structure of the nerve. So accordingly, the symptoms will be the same. It is relatively common. This disease is relatively common disease, and annual incidence is four to eight per one lakh individuals. The incidence of this disease is uh, four to eight per one lakh individuals. It affects mainly middle-aged and uh, elderly persons. And it is more common in women. So the trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, this is more common disease in women. What are the clinical features? The clinical features are uh, it is uh, sudden onset disease that uh, the symptoms appear suddenly without any uh, prior order or something. It is characterized by severe paroxysmal pain. The pain is very severe and it comes in the paroxysm in the lips, gums, and cheeks, or chin, and rarely in the distribution of the ophthalmic division of the fifth nerve. It is the severe paroxysm of pain. That means the pain is coming the severe paroxysm in the lips. It affects the lips, the cheeks, and the chin. The most common areas: lips, cheek, uh, cheeks, and chin. And rarely in the distribution of the ophthalmic division of the fifth nerve. The pain lasts for a few seconds to few minutes. Although the duration of the pain is only few seconds to few minutes, but the intensity is very severe. The pain is so intense that the patient winces. Hence the name. It becomes a picture. It will be pain. It will be so bad that. क्या हो गया इस वजह से इसको टिक टिक द पैरोक्सिस में एक्सपीरियंस्ड एज सिंगल जैब्स और क्लस्टर्स 
the pair of peroxys can be experienced as a single jab or clusters, uh, which occur frequently. This, the, the, the episodes occur frequently, both day and night, for several weeks at a time. So the patient is having the paroxysm of the pain uh, both day and night, and they occur frequently for the several weeks at a time. What are the clinical features with which the patient is coming to you for uh, in the cases of carcinoma hemorrhage? The onset is sudden. The onset sudden occurs is few already more, and the bouts tend to persist for weeks and months before the remitting spontaneous. So this is uh, basically uh, such a disease that remits spontaneously, that, that the symptoms goes off spontaneously. But uh, the bouts, the bouts, the bouts uh, tend to remain for months before they remit spontaneously. The pain occurs spontaneously, but the the movements of the affected areas like speaking, chewing, and smiling. And when the patient eats something, when uh, he smiles, then suddenly the pain appears. And there are certain triggering zones. Triggering zones, just like the triggering zones, there are certain triggering zones. Triggering zones, just like the 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 so these are the triggering zones that can initiate or that can uh, start the attack of uh, trigeminal neurologic pain. The tactile stimuli like washing the face, brushing the teeth, or exposure to a craft of cold air can generate exclusive So these are the triggering uh, zones. And any uh, least stimuli in that particular triggering zone can initiate uh, the great exclusive pain of trigeminal neurology. The remission is long lasting. Means that once the pain is uh, has uh, remission has taken place, it is long lasting. But in most of the different cases, that uh, pain recurs uh, after some period of time. Now, what is the pathophysiology that is involved in the cases of trigeminal neuralgia? This is important to pathophysiology for the pathological changes that are taking place in the body. The, the symptoms that are arising in the case of trigeminal neuralgia, this is resulting from the atopic generation of action potential. The distribution uh, of extreme potential in the pain sensitive area uh, at, at, um, afferent fibers. So, there is a uh, ectopic generation of the action potential in the pain sensitive afferent fibers of the fifth cranium. That is the trigeminal nerve root. The compression or other pathology in the nerve leads to a demyelination of a large myelinated fiber. So, uh, what is happening is there is demyelination of the nerve fibers taking place that do not themselves carry pain sensation. But as a nerve fibers, Jyoti could say nerve sensation, the pain sensation may be a demyelination of that, but they become hyper excitable and electrically coupled with smaller unmyelinated or poorly myelinated pain fibers. Which compression ke se, or which factors ke se, there is demyelination of certain nerve fibers that themselves do not carry the nerve the pain impulses, but they become hyper excitable and then they carry the impulses along with some of the pain fibers. The compression of the trigeminal nerve root by a blood vessels at the entry of the brainstem. Jase will enter the my brainstem. Uh, brainstem can enter the jase of the trigeminal nerve root. Enter with the head. But there is a compression of the root at the trigeminal nerve root by the blood vessels that is the main cause of trigeminal neuralgia. That's the main source. Jase brainstem with the jase entry with the trigeminal nerve root. This may occur to see blood vessels to adjust the compression of the root at the head can cause a great pain of trigeminal neuralgia. Increased vascular thickness, just as the spread vessel thickness, but in the torches, it will be that can cause uh, the increased prevalence of trigeminal neurology in the head. If you have trigeminal root in the head, you can see that you have to have a vessel system to compress the head, but to compress the head, you can see that you have to have a vessel system to compress the head. And you can see that you have to have a vessel system to compress the head. So, you can see that you have to have a vessel system to compress the head. What are the different uh, differential diagnoses? You have a differential diagnosis. Yeah, what is the differential diagnosis? As a concurrency condition, so it's a few to resemble a few like trigeminal neuralgia. So the pain arising from the disease of jaw and for sciences. Or as you disease, just the under, this is my major activity, that is the dental disease of the neuralgia. So that can be some uh, trigeminal neuralgia, that is the same as the pain, that can be some neuralgia. Uh, jaw cuffing disorder head that can also resemble the trigeminal neuralgia. The pain from migraine or cluster headache. Cluster headache we have studied in the previous lecture that was severe pain. Very severe pain, excruciating pain, then can resemble uh, trigeminal neuralgia. 
there can be temporal arthritis, inflammation of the arteries, or multiple sclerosis. Uh, that was scleroderma that we have uh, studied in the mechanical system. So, multiple sclerosis, treatment of the skin uh, weaker deposition of uh, uh, collagen fibers and uh, leading to fibrosis. So, that can lead to the, the symptoms similar to that of collagen neurology pain. So, what is the differential diagnosis? These are various conditions that are mentioned. I'll, I'll just read out these conditions one by one so that you can recall many, many conditions we have already discussed. And this will give you a brief idea about the differential diagnosis of the various conditions that can resemble like trigeminal neurology. So, first one is the uh, cluster headache, the uh, pain lasts longer, and orbital or supraorbital orthomotor symptoms. The cluster headache was one sided, affecting one eye. The dental pain, the dental pain is localized and sensitive to hot and cold food and abnormal oral examination gives the confirmed diagnosis of dental pain. Giant cell arthritis, there is persistent pain and jaw claudication is present. Glossopharyngeal neuralgia, the pain in the tongue, mouth, the throat, brought about by the swelling uh, because that is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve and uh, on trochlear tube. Intracranial tumors, so what are the symptoms of intracranial tumors or neurological, other neurological signs that can be uh, present in this intracranial tumors? Migraine. In the cases of migraine, we have just studied migraine in the last uh, lecture. There are a longer lasting pain, it's a uh, positive family history for the case of migraine. It can be photophobia and chromophobia. Multiple sclerosis, this we have studied in the locomotor system. There can be eye involvement and other neurological symptoms. Otitis media, otitis media is the current pattern. The pain is localized to ear and abdominal ear examination confirms diagnosis of otitis media. Paroxysmal hemicrania, the pain in the forehead or eyes and abdominal symptoms respond to the indolence. Post herpetic neuralgia, this is very important thing, the continuous pain in the forehead and history of herpes zoster. Usually, ophthalmic division of the cranial nerve, trigeminal nerve is affected. Sinusitis, the persistent pain associated with the nasal symptoms. The patient will complain of coriza and headache. Uh, SUNCT, that is shorter lasting denominator neurologic or conjunctival uh, injection. That is ocular or periocular autonomic symptoms. TMJ, the TMJ is temporomandibular joint syndrome. That is persistent pain, localized tenderness, and jaw abnormalities are seen in this case. Trigeminal neuropathy, there is persistent pain and associated with sensory loss. So, these are the various differential diagnoses of the case of trigeminal neuralgia. What are the various investigations that could be performed in the cases of trigeminal neuralgia? The ESR is raised in the temporal arthritis. Uh, neuroimaging studies are uh, usually unnecessary because uh, the, the diagnosis can be done on the basis of simple similarity. It can be valuable if mitral sclerosis is, in con uh, is a concentration or an assessment overlying the skeletal lesions in order to plan for decompression surgery. When we want to do the decompression surgery, then we uh, have this test. A high resolution MRI, uh, magnetic resonance angiographic angiogram. This if the blood vessel is compressing the nerve, then we have to do high resolution magnetic resonance angiography. That is useful for pre-operative to visualize the relationship between the cranial nerve root and the nearby blood vessels. So we have to do uh, magnetic resonance angiography. To see whether the blood vessels are compressing with the trigeminal nerve root or there is some other cause for the development of trigeminal neurology. What is the management? What is the management of trigeminal neurology? The drug therapy with carbamazepine is effective. If there are symptoms of dizziness, imbalance, uh, sedation, a granulo uh, cytosis, side effect of uh, carbamazepine, these are observed. If you are prescribing carbamazepine for the drug therapy, for the treatment of uh, trigeminal neuralgia, there are certain side effects like dizziness, imbalance, and sedation, or general psychosis. In the cases where carbamazepine cannot be given, we have to give oxycarbazepine as an alternative to the carbamazepine. If the drug treatment fails, if, if the pharmacotherapy fails, then in such case, surgical intervention is required, uh, which includes microvascular decompression to relieve the pressure on the trigeminal nerve. The, the microvascular decompression is done to relieve the pressure on the Trigeminal nerve root and hence the treatment can be the pain can be. Gamma night radio surgery of the trigeminal nerve root is also used for the treatment of uh, trigeminal neurology. Now, there are uh, certain homeopathic medicines, very good homeopathic medicines that are uh, useful in the cases of trigeminal neurology. Some of them are mentioned here. Uh, also, homeopathic treatment is done on the basis of symptom similarity and on the basis of uh, symptoms. Uh, the constitutional medicine gives a rapid and permanent relief. But some uh, some medicines are mentioned here, which are very very good in the acute cases of trigeminal neuralgia. 
aconite. When the pain appears suddenly and are worse on the left side, accompanied by restlessness, and the patient is becoming very much anxious. Pain are very intense, but are accompanied by anxious pain after exposure to cold, dry things. Aspergatum, another very important medicine, the pain is uh, drawing or burning character as if from increase. The amelioration is by warm application and activation of cold air goes after midnight. The patient is anxious, restless, and thirsty. Belladonna, another very good anti inflammatory medicine, severe pain are present in Belladonna. The pain is a right sided of face, muscles in face twitches with pain, which are very severe and intense. Pains are worse with drought and motion. Especially when chewed, pains appear and disappear rapidly that uh, may worsen it through the neck. Primia, the pain are worse with the uh, slightest motion and better by absolute breast. The patient cannot open the mouth, cannot talk, cannot eat. Uh, they are better by cold and pressure in lying on the critical side. The patient has dry mouth and lips, this great thirst for large quantity of water long at the time. He is very much thirsty. Polar is the pains are tearing and stitching in nature, mostly on the left side. The pains are better with pressure, rest and warm application. The pain may be worse around the eyes, the attack worse on the evening and at 10 p.m. Pulsatina. Pain are worse on the right side. Uh, they are changing pains. The pains, pains shift from one side to the other than pulsatina. There is growing and tearing pain, the worst from chewing, gum, and lying on the inflow side. The uh, mouth is dry, but the person does not dry. The person in the patient is almost thirstless. The pains are ameliorated by cold application and cold air. The person in the patient desires open air always. Spigelia, left sided complaints are present, the worst from stooping and moving out. Spigelia is a very good medicine for the left sided person in the area. Headache and noise, the moving about, head from noise, during perspiration from cold water, air, and chewing. Lightman like things in Spigelia, we have lightman like things, especially the Tara, the crazy Sara, from sudden after, that come out from the morning until sunset. The uh, person has a flush red twist on the affected side, and the pain comes from certain lines of the body. Verbesca, this is also a very important medicine. Left side is with pinching sensation of it, as if the parts were being crushed by tongs, as if it is the part of tongs crushed by the pain. Pains are brought on by the clenching feet. Just say that, in this type patient, this happens for the pain of the person. Change of temperatures, this cutting goes at a verse of Japan, pressures a verse of Japan, the Korea condition. The pains involves chin and neuro chin. This was a pain of the world, this country that involves chin and the neuro chin. So, this was all about trigeminal and neurogenia. Uh, I hope you have understood this topic. The next topic will be Bell's palsy. I will be taking you in the next picture. Uh, this session was powered by Digital Virtual 2.0 to the report of the university. I hope you're satisfied with the next session. If you have any questions, please mention it in the comments or subscribe. So this was all for today. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next lecture with another important disease, Bell's palsy. So this was all for now. Thank you very much. If you have not understood anything, just go through your books, just read the matter, and I am sure that you uh, uh, won't uh, will not face any kind of difficulty. Still, for you, I have uploaded my PPT and my emails on the portal provided so that you can download the matter from that particular place and you can take you from it. Uh, I have also mentioned a question that we have to do, and also some MCQs that we have to answer in that way. So that was all for now. Uh, this was Dr. Ravijan Samuel Thank you very much. Bye.